Texas has a long and proud history of being involved in the space industry. But in recent years, Texas has taken its space ambitions to a whole new level, thanks to the unwavering backing of Governor Greg Abbott for Elon Musk's endeavors. But what's the driving force behind this support? And how does it tie in with SpaceX's groundbreaking Starship rocket program? In this video, we'll see how Governor Abbott is backing Elon Musk's dream of making us a multi-planetary species. And we'll find out how this is affecting Texas and the future of all of us. As the saying goes, everything is bigger in Texas. And when it comes to investing in commercial space exploration, it might just be the absolute truth. Governor Abbott, a prominent figure in the Republican Party, has openly hailed Elon Musk as the preeminent entrepreneur on the entire planet. It's a sentiment that's tough to dispute, and it's clear that it's not just empty words. In a bold move, Governor Greg Abbott has put his money where his mouth is by advocating for the allocation of $350 million in the state's biennial budget to establish and sustain a Texas Space Commission over the next two years. This significant investment marks a monumental leap forward in the realm of space exploration and innovation, promising an exciting future for Texas and all of humanity. The governor's not just handing out cash. He's rolled out the red carpet for Elon Musk's groundbreaking projects in Texas. Governor Abbott has crafted an atmosphere in Texas that's super appealing to Elon Musk and his daring ideas. He says Musk chose Texas for Tesla's new U.S. factory because of our strong focus on freedom, which sets us apart from places like California. Also, the sweet tax benefits in Texas probably had a big hand in Musk's decision to bring SpaceX here. Musk, now the world's second richest person, gets a nice break because Texas doesn't tax personal income, unlike California, where the wealthiest residents get hit the hardest. The governor of Texas has made a commitment to support SpaceX's work in Boca Chica, saying they'll collaborate closely every step of the way. However, Elon Musk hinted in February that if there were long delays in getting the needed environmental approvals for a launch license in Texas, SpaceX might move test launches of its Starship vehicle to Florida. It's unclear what Governor Abbott can do to make sure the work in Boca Chica continues or progresses because the different licenses come from various federal government agencies. But Governor Abbott is very eager to see real rocket launches happen in Texas, not just research and development. Texas sees the significant economic benefits that Florida has gained from activities in and around the Space Coast and wants to have a slice of that pie, boosting tourism and the local economy. Texas Governor Greg Abbott is firmly dedicated to supporting SpaceX's mission to launch the Starship from Boca Chica. What I am going to do if Biden interferes with the ability of SpaceX to launch from Boca Chica, I'm going to be working every step of the way to make sure that they are going to be able to launch from Boca Chica. Recently, Abbott had a conversation with Sam Patel, the person in charge of Starship operations, holding the role of SpaceX's Starbase Director of Operations. Abbott emphasized his commitment to assisting SpaceX in realizing its goals, stating, We heard the vision from Mr. Patel himself about what they are working on and our job to make sure they are able to achieve their vision. And I have worked with Elon Musk very closely with regard to Tesla and the Gigafactory in Austin and we will be working with him very closely every step of the way in Boca Chica for the future of SpaceX. We want that future and that vision to come from Boca Chica from Brownsville, Texas. But what is the motivation behind the support of the governor of Texas? The motivation behind Texas Governor Greg Abbott's support for SpaceX and the space industry in Texas is to secure the state's position as a global leader in space exploration and technology. Abbott believes that continuing to develop the space industry in Texas, the state that can maintain a leading role, not just within the United States, but on a worldwide scale. In his budget document for the 88th legislature, Abbott emphasized that as companies seek to expand their efforts in space travel in the coming years, ongoing investment in the space sector will solidify Texas as the premier location for innovation and development in this rapidly growing field. He recognizes the importance of staying at the forefront of the space industry due to the increasing competition from other states and international players. Governor Abbott's commitment to SpaceX and the space industry is driven by his vision of Texas as a key player in the evolving and competitive world of space exploration and technology. He wants to ensure that the future of space endeavors, as well as the associated economic benefits, come from places like Boca Chica in Brownsville, Texas. However, the Texas governor may encounter some challenges and conflicts with SpaceX and its plans including environmental concerns, 
local community impact, navigating federal regulations, balancing competing interests with Texas space industry, and managing public opinion on space-related activities and investment. Abbott's commitment to SpaceX aligns with his vision for Texas as a global space leader, but addressing these challenges and conflicts will be crucial in achieving his goals while considering the broader interests of the state and its residents. SpaceX has been on a rocket launching spree this year, with more than 70 launches, that's nearly one every four days, a remarkable pace that has revolutionized the space industry. However, as the company continues to exponentially increase its launch rate, especially with its colossal Starship rocket gearing up for another test flight, SpaceX officials express concerns that the government is struggling to keep pace. They fear this may hinder NASA's mission to return astronauts to the moon. Another challenge happened in April, when Starship's first flight attempt came to an abrupt end, just a few minutes after liftoff. This inaugural flight for the most powerful rocket ever built turned chaotic, with the rocket tumbling uncontrollably and ultimately needing to be destroyed by its onboard flight termination system. The sheer force of the liftoff, generated by 33 powerful engines, not only wiped out the launch pad, but also sent rocks and debris scattered across the remote South Texas launch site. Fortunately, no one was harmed, but the incident prompted an investigation by the FAA. This investigation resulted in the FAA's requirement for SpaceX to undertake 63 corrective actions. Elon Musk, SpaceX's CEO, has assured that the company has successfully completed all the necessary actions to meet the licensing requirements. But the launch attempt sparked a legal battle, with environmental groups expressing concerns about the potential impact of Starship on the surrounding area. SpaceX executive William Gerstenmaier, the company's vice president for build and reliability, is gearing up to emphasize a crucial point at a Senate hearing. During the hearing, he intends to urge Congress to streamline regulations and expand the number of Federal Aviation Administration staff members dedicated to expediting the issuance of space launch licenses. Gerstenmaier emphasizes the need for these changes due to the increasing frequency of space flights and the growing presence of other players in the industry. He points out that there's a potential challenge looming, where the government's regulatory pace may not be able to keep up with the rapid developments occurring in the private sector. This issue will be at the forefront of his testimony before the Senate Commerce Subcommittee on Space and Science at a hearing titled, Promoting Safety, Innovation, and Competitiveness in U.S. Commercial Human Space Activities. As a result of the recent events, SpaceX is required to obtain an FAA license that covers a broad spectrum of criteria, including safety, environmental impact, and other regulatory considerations before they can proceed with Starship launches. This regulatory hurdle has led Elon Musk, SpaceX's CEO, to contemplate the relocation of his company's rocket launch operations to Florida. The primary reason behind this potential shift is the delay in obtaining the necessary environmental clearance for expanding SpaceX's operations in Boca Chica, Texas. While Musk has indicated that research and development activities could continue in Boca Chica, this situation has given rise to a noteworthy political rivalry between Texas Governor Greg Abbott and Florida Governor Ron DeSantis. Both of these prominent Republican governors have been engaged in something of a political contest, seemingly positioning themselves for potential presidential runs in the 2024 election. Much of their rivalry has centered around hot-button social issues and immigration policy, but a new element has entered the arena, the competition to brand their respective states as the most business-friendly destination, which includes capturing the burgeoning commercial space industry. Worth noting is the significant budget disparity between the two states in this realm. Texas Governor Abbott has a substantial annual budget of $350 million, earmarked for the development of its commercial space sector. In contrast, Space Florida, Florida's Aerospace Economic Development Agency, maintains a more modest annual budget of about $12.5 million. Given the remarkable investments being made in Texas, it may trigger a response in Florida as they compete to secure the attention and business ventures of companies like SpaceX. Texas, however, is leaving no stone unturned in its efforts to retain SpaceX within its borders. The situation is fluid, and it will be interesting to see how it unfolds in the coming months and years. Let us know what you think in the comments section.